Hey everybody, it's me, Sonko Kokiri again. I bet you're wondering, where the heck have I been for the past couple of months? Oh, well, it's a bit of a long story and I don't want to explain it too, too long. Basically, I've been having a lot of trouble with stuff in my house, and when it comes to this episode, I forgot that I even recorded it. I recorded it the same time I did the edit to try to recap things I badly recorded. This one is slightly better, but the music is still louder than the mic. Hopefully, you'll be able to tolerate it. So, without further ado, here's a new or old episode that should have been uploaded ages ago, but for some reason I didn't do it. I hope I'll be able to record more episodes later. In the meantime, enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Sterling of Kakiri, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Let's Play. Now, with th that little montage video I did, you now know that I have been able to gain a couple more hearts, and also defeat the boss of the Forest Temple, if you decide to actually watch that montage thing. Anyway, I'm currently working on getting to the next place to get a boss defeated and awaken another sage. And for that, I must head up Death Mountain once more. Time to go revisit the Gorons and see what's going on. At the same time, avoid that giant boulder. Oh, I did not think that was going to come, although I saw the other one rolling down, so I should have expected it. Alright, so, we're now on our way to this place. Let's hope that we'll find some answers. To the Gorons. However, there doesn't seem to be a single Goron around. Or is there a Goron? I don't know, but as soon as I actually get a good view of where I'm going and what I'm doing, it'll help. Uh, oh, there's one. It's tiny. It's a small little one, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna have to go... See if I can talk to it or find a way to stop it. I think I know what I have to do. Should be simple enough. Alright, Goron. Have at thee. Now, it should be rolling down here any minute. There it is. Let's drop this over here as it's on its way. Please work. Didn't work. Okay, let's drop this one. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 I do not want to get hit by that explosion. Did it do it? The heck? It's rolling the other way now. Dude, come on. I just want to... just want to stop you so I can talk to you. Okay, here it comes again. Drop this. And... That did not stop it. And that was a waste of a good bomb. Although I could be using these bombs and not have to spend any on that one. Okay. Let's grab this one. And toss it. Hopefully that one will work. Come on, come on. Okay, that didn't stop it. What the heck? How do I stop this thing? I just hope I can actually man to stop this time and see what happens if I do this. Probably just botched it. Yeah, I did. Run. Why is it not being stopped? Uh, this is one of the times where wish bomb marrows exist in this game. Yes! Got it! How could you do this to me, you, your Gandorf servant? Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the Gorons. And I got pause. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm sorry about that sudden pause, but there was a phone call. Now I'm back, and let's check this Goron who, for some reason, seemed to be using my name. And it's a lot shorter than me. And looks like 
is the thing I was talking to you about before. The montage is finished saving, so I'll be uploading that after I'm done this. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link is a cool name? <laughs> ah, Gorons. Link, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help. <laughs> you want my autograph before everyone would get saved? What? Oh well, let's see what the problem is. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> oh, I can't do that without laughing. You'd better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? About the dragon or about the Gorons? Let us ask first about the Gorons. <laughs> Looks like that's not working. Let's just ask about the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia. Holy crap, if I hadn't said Vagia, it might have sounded different. Living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons! Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! There's a hero called Boom now? Destroyed it, just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. <laughs> you better try to calm him down. Let's ask about the Gorons this time, maybe it'll work. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try and save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. So now, we have a new tunic that we got for free. You got a Goron tunic. This heat-resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit for a kid. Going to a hot place? No worry. So, now, if we want to, we can put on that tunic and all of a sudden we're no longer gonna suffer from heat exhaustion or anything somehow some reason. And is there any setbacks to wearing that tunic? Apparently not. Wearing the tunic will just make us look red and be able to do stuff in a volcano. Now here's the strange part. Apparently all the Gorons were taken. So what's he still doing here? It's like, he decided to kidnap everybody except this guy? Seriously? Oh no! Everybody's gone! Only I was left behind! Nope, uh, the son of the of your leader's still here. But anyway, now it's off to this place again. And now we can see what's in behind this thing that for some reason I can't find the name for. This random statue. There we go. Basically put it here. Going behind. And we're inside Death Mountain. Death Mountain Crater. And as you can see, it is hot in here. Now, if only I can just. There we go. Huh. Now, I know that there is a place here that if I'm able to get past, there's an upgrade waiting for me. Now uh, that I think there's a lot of things I need to move here. For now, let's just get this way and see what's in the pots, because 
I could always use some new stuff. Because I accidentally used magic a while ago on my way here. Well, not during the recording, but anyway. There we go. Magic restored. And... We need to get onto that part of the bridge. How, you may ask? To get that... To get there, we need this hookshot. See, this piece of technology that for some reason only exists in Zelda games is very useful. And... We've arrived, but so has Sheik. What does Sheik have to say this time? <clears throat> it is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. And so, we get to hear it. This is another rather simple song. I actually you like this one a bit. In fact, sometimes I'm trying to learn how to play it on my actual ocarina. Alright. There we go! decided to let you guys listen to that, although if I'd known Nintendo, they might actually just randomly flag this video and say, oh, you're using our audio content. Well, the thing is, how can I possibly promote you while playing your games without having the music from the games? I never understand why it is that some, that some, some companies are like, yeah, you can't use Earth stuff at all. Well, if you're going to do a Let's Play, it has to be muted. For some reason. Then again, for some reason, they have flagged a few of my videos, yet they have not removed them. They just uh, basically make it that I don't receive a profit from them. And yet, it's only for my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time videos. However, when it comes to my Mystery Dungeon videos, there's ones where the audio cut for some reason, and I was playing, and so I put uh, a song from Pokemon 2000 soundtrack, and for some reason, that was not flagged for anything. Why? I have no idea. But now we enter the next dungeon. The Fire Temple. And in here, we basically need to find our way through. I think here's where we have to go first, where we will encounter our old friend Darunia. Who's there? Is that you, Link? Oh, it really is, Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil ancient dragon, Valvagia. On top of that, he is going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link. I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are all in opposite direction. In the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Link. So, now we have our mission. It's not to fight the boss right away. What we have to do is go free some prisoners, one of which is actually all the way over there. Let's see if I can not fall in the lava. After all, this is not Minecraft. I don't want this to happen. But again, not even in Minecraft, but I want this to happen. Alright, jump. And jump. And hit the switch. We have now freed this Goron. So what does he have to say? 
Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the, the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. Alright. Although, why is it that Darunia didn't rescue you? You were right there. You could have done it. Oh well. Maybe to give me something to do to get a key. Okay. So. We've rescued one Goron so far. Let's go here. Back the way we came. And hopefully not fall in the lava. And we made it. Next stop, let's see what's over this way. Probably nothing important, but I want to go anyway. Okay. Ah, just need a hook shot at that. And I should be fine. Oh. Maybe that's why you yeah, should come over here. Pots that might have stuff in them. If I can actually hit them. For some reason, as an adult, you can't hit these pots. Oh, fairy? Do I really need one? Yes, I do. I'm short on fairies. Haha! -ha! I somehow got it that way. Okay, now let's see what's in the final pot. Another fairy. Don't really need it, so I'll just let it fly. Now, how do I get back there? Can I even get back there? Oh wait! I'm supposed to be up on the tall platform and jump over there. Right? At least I hope I'm right. Otherwise, it's the lava death. Okay, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, climb. Well, that was not going as planned. Okay. Let's switch to the bow and arrow again. I'll probably need that again. And now we have to go rescue more of the Gorons. And there are some keys flying around. I'm saying keys, fire ones. And I got them both in one hit. Impressive. Alright, so let's see what's behind door number one. And we have a lot of lava. Good thing I'm wearing my fire-resistant tunic. What the heck is it made out of, anyway? Ah, climb, 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 climb. Why are you climbing? You're gonna get hurt, Link. Ah! Link! Well, as you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble using Link properly. Just walk up this go over here. Climb, climb, climb. Climb and run. Okay, so what's behind this door? Looks like it's a path leading to the prisoner Goron. So let's rescue him too. So now, time to tell him it's time to leave. So, he's gonna give me a secret in exchange. A wall he can destroy it with the Goron special crop will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. So basically, anything that you hit the wall with that sounds different than when you hit it normally with your sword, that is one that you should put a ball. Well, not ball, a ball. Alright, got the small key, so let's go up to the next part of the dungeon. Basically, this entire place is about collecting stuff. Not only that, up there, there is a wall of time. Well, a block of time, so... And for some reason, I screwed up the first one, so hopefully... Second time's charm. Perfect. So now the block is down here, making it easy to climb up the thing. Now, what's in 
this room. Dare I check? Oh! These. A whole bunch of tiles. And a golden skull too. I have to get that. And boom. They're all defeated. And that is not. I think I can only hurt it. Oh! What have I done? I paralyzed it. Not let it absorb you. Took shot it. And I defeated it. Okay, that didn't take long. And I got a whole bunch of rupees for doing so. Well, now for you. Perfect. And... <laughs> That's all it had to do. It destroyed a gold skull tilla. You got a token providing you destroyed it. Yep. Well, not providing, proving you destroyed it. So basically, there are some parts of the walls that are bombable. Basically, they would sound different from when you would hit them normally. So that's probably a very important clue to remember. So now, jump, jump. You don't get burned. Things are heating up in here. Okay. My nice. surprise reaction about this is how come it's just the tunic protecting him, yet none of his clothes are burning up from touching these flaming things. Like, even his boots, which just basically walked on hot magma, are perfectly fine. Video game logic. Alright. To the next... that's over there. However, it looks like the bridge is out. But I can still get to the other side. that wants to try to hurt me? Ha! Oh! Heart! Need that. Uh, and if I remember the boss, the boss shouldn't be too difficult. It's just being able to rescue everyone that's going to be a bit hard. And here I am. And climb I must. Yeah, this is going to be a long climb. But I think it shouldn't be hard to do. Whoa, how's Link balanced? Well, they're allowing themselves to die. <laughs> that was rather simple. Whoa, whoa. And down. And let's push that forward. Basically, giving us a way up. Yeah, how Link is able to push something that heavy that easily? Is it fine that he does it easily? Maybe it's just me. And... Here we are. But I need a key. Okay. Where's he ending up now? What have I done? I've basically hurt him again. Well, good news is there's some hearts over there, so I can go get them. Yeah, I think I'm really off my game today. Proof? I hurt Link twice. Okay, on here, and two fire keys. Shot that one. Go. Miss. Got it. Now how come it can 
be encased with fire and not die when it does it by itself, but if I try to do it, all of a sudden it dies. I never got that. So walk up this, and apparently I need to go get another key. Where do I get it? I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm going to have to do some more exploring, but I think for now I'm going to pause the episode where I am right now, so I don't, I don't know, surpass too much time. Let's get on this. And basically I'm going to try finding another room quickly before I get this burned. Although normally I don't get burned while I'm wearing this. I just get hurt. Alright, so I think... Yeah. Yeah, this is the place where I have to go next, because there's a hidden room. I'm gonna go in that room, and then I think that'll be it for the episode. So... Let's go in and check. Oh, it's another... I'll rescue him, then I'll pause it. There we go. So, there you go. Here's your freedom. How are you? Yeah, you are free to go. I'll tell you a secret for saving me. There are switches in this temple that you have to cut to activate, but you can't. they can also use the bombs to do the job. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Now, what's in this chest? Hopefully the key I need. And it is the key. Alright, so this is where I'm going to end the episode for today. And I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, please, uh, please uh, enjoy my e channel for what it's worth. Despite it being a very not as good as the other channels that you've seen on YouTube. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye!